Well, hey Palin, we uh, got a big match coming up pretty soon. It's uh, Corey West, right? Yep, Corey West in Texas. It's a big man, big man in a big match. But you know what they say. What is it? What do they, what do they say? It's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's, uh, oh yeah. It's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's whether or not one of those dogs is Toddzilla. So, uh, check it out. So, how are you preparing for it? Well, I'm, you know, I'm training really hard, but think about taking some time off before the match. What? You're going to take some time off before the match? Well, yeah, two weeks. You always take, like, two weeks off before the match. Two weeks? Oh, four weeks maybe? Four weeks might be better. Four weeks? Why not six? Oh, six might be better. Six weeks. Why in the world, with a big match coming up, would you take any time off? Well, healing. You know, got to do some healing. Healing? Yeah, healing. That makes no sense. You know, recovery. Two to six weeks off before a match for recovery. Recovery? Inflammation. Inflammation? Healing, inflammation, and recovery. Healing and effort. Would you stop saying inflammation? Well, you gotta, you gotta take the time off before a match. Everybody knows that. Um, hold up just a second. Not so smart, and you got to be lifted off the wall. <sighs> yes, healing, recovery, inflammation, very important for a match. So tell me something. You've been training for this match? Training very hard. You getting stronger? Getting stronger almost every week. Like, what do you mean almost every week? Well, you know, we do max effort days every week. I probably get uh, PRs on 40 out of the 52. About 90%. So you're getting stronger 90% of the time, but doing your routine, but leading up to a match where you want to be the strongest you can be, you're going to completely change that program. No, I'm getting stronger and I need time off for healing, recovery, and inflammation please please stop saying inflammation so so you're setting these PRs you're doing that by taking time off no man I'm doing that through hard work speed day volume day isometrics all that scientific stuff yet I can see why the speed day volume day isometrics plyometrics all that stuff's helping I can see why you definitely want to put an end to that going into a match. Well, I do need healing, recovery, and inflammation. Sounds like you just want to be stronger. Yeah, I am getting stronger. So, maybe time off isn't what you need. If your body is recovering between max effort days, so in a week's time, you lift more weight than you've ever lifted before. A week later, you lift a few percentage more, so now you're even lifting more weight than you've ever done before. I know how max effort day works. I know how the West Side Barbell system works. But yet, you seem to think you want to stop that for three weeks, four weeks, or six weeks. Yes, healing, inflammation, recovery, I keep telling you that. Well, what Louis Simmons says, Oh, for crying out loud, you're always throwing Louis Simmons in my face. You know there are other strong people in the world. Yes, there are other strong people in the world, but there's no other people making the strongest people in the world. Shut up with your no job and your laying around the house all day licking your genitals. Hmm? Yeah, okay, I'll give you that one. So, what does Louis says? 
Louis says if you do not train a specific movement for three weeks, you lose, I'm not sure, it was like 12%, 10 to 15%. You lose 10 to 15% not training something for three weeks? That's what he says, but yet you're going to take up to six weeks off. Sacrifice that. Healing, recovery, inflammation. Maybe you should let the science guide your progress. So you're saying you, with no thumbs, who's never ever been in an arm wrestling tournament, and I, by the way, have been in at least several. You're saying take absolutely no time off under any circumstances. Well, that's not exactly what I'm saying. What I'm saying is if you're cutting weight and you're running a calorie deficit or you're, electrolyte, or you're doing a water cut where your electrolyte deficit for 10 or 15 days, you better cut the training volume down then because you don't want to be stressing your body physically while you're also doing it nutritionally. So then other than that, no other time off. Well, you're not exactly being honest either because you, everybody takes some time off. Right, that's what I'm saying. Healing, recovering, if Would you stop saying inflammation? These tournaments you usually travel to. So if you're getting on an airplane, you're traveling to the airport one day, probably flying overnight, then you get there and you weigh in, and then there's uh, the competition's probably a day later. So there's probably two to four days, maybe five or six baked in on an international competition where you're taking off anyway so you automatically have you know two to seven days off right oh okay so then i don't have to take that much time off well what you probably ought to be considering is do you take bands and stuff with you just so you can trigger so you can work out those uh different exercises and keep and keep fit and fresh you do have one bony booty for a dog. It's obvious you, you do all keto and no, no squats. Please focus, you humans. Ugh. All right, so you're thinking train hard right up to the day of the match because it's in Texas, so I'll be gone for three or four days. Well, it's not what I'm saying. It's what the people who make the strongest people in the world are saying, and it's kind of what you're saying because... Why would you want to take three to four weeks off of a program that's making you stronger every single week? Because inflammation, healing, and... Oh, please stop saying that. You know, you are kind of obstinate and contrary on these talks, but uh, all in all, you're a pretty good friend. Let's see. Makes you hungry looking at it, huh? <laughs> Can you see him? Yeah, do you see? Ooh, see, that makes me hungry. <clears throat> um, do you have anything else? No, nope, I'm good. I do like these little chats, although I kind of wish I had something to drink. All right. <laughs>